Hi, today I am touching on the best, best way to update your bags and the most cost effect, effective, affordable ways to do that. We touched on it before when I talked about the kitchens and how sometimes when you're looking to sell in the next one to three years, you don't want to go gung ho and gut your kitchens and gut kitchen and gut your baths and go crazy spending money when you know that you're going to be selling in the near future. But you still want to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck, you get the highest dollar for your house, and you can enjoy it while you're in the process of getting ready to sell it. So what does that look like when it comes to baths? The best way and the most affordable way to update your baths are to focus on three key areas. One, the vanity. Just dressing up the vanity makes a huge difference when it comes to your bathroom. And if you have a nice vanity, a nice wood vanity, but maybe the countertop is a little bit older, up in an old Formica or whatnot, then just dress up the countertop. I said this about kitchens and it's the same. The actual cabinet isn't where people focus the most on. It's really the counter because that's what people are working with every day. That's what dresses up that cabinet. So don't go crazy replacing cabinets if you don't have to. Sometimes it is cheaper to buy just a new vanity instead of getting a new countertop for your vanity and fitting it. I found that out the hard way. Um, but if you if it is more affordable to just get the countertop to go over the vanity you have, then go that route. Really the counter for the vanity is what matters. So that's the first piece I would focus on. The second is your lighting. A lot of times when you're looking at a mirror and your vanity, the lights above that mirror are where everyone is looking every morning and every night when they're brushing their teeth, when they're going in, when they're washing their face, that lighting is so important and it's where a lot of people focus, a lot of buyers focus. So dressing up that light fixture or those light fixtures if you have multiple in a bathroom makes a very big difference, huge difference. A lot of times the baths and the showers aren't, aren't the main focus. If you dress up those other two areas and then you just put some fresh paint on it and fresh shelving, that will go all the distance unless you have one of those nice old pink or blue showers <laughs> in that case if your shower is clearly dated or your bath is clearly dated then yes i would i would suggest maybe going and having it re-enameled maybe putting just a fiberglass surround in um but a lot of times you can even take those old tile showers and have them re-enameled and it's a much more cost effective and it looks like a nice just white tile shower and it makes a huge difference. So again, unless that bathtub or shower is clearly dated, don't go crazy with your shower. Just put a new coat of paint on, maybe add some of those, those um, just floating shelves behind the, the toilet or somewhere in the bathroom where you can put a nice plant, have your towels, have your toiletries, um, but just dress it up with some paint, some nice, nice shelving and then go and focus on the countertop and the vanity and your and your light fixtures because those things in and of themselves will dress up the bathroom. You don't have to go crazy ripping the whole thing out, putting all new flooring down, you know, putting all new shelves in everywhere, putting all new new um, bath uh, bathtubs and showers in. Uh, like I said, unless they're dated, you can really just add those little tweaks that are still going to take some work and still going to be you know cost some money, but they won't be the same as gutting the entire bathroom. I hope that helps. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about this or if you just wanna run any ideas past us and we hope you have a great week.